what is confused deputy problem. In this video, we would try to understand that. Let us say a server accepts from a client the name of an input file, performs some operations on the input file and stores the output in an output file and the server takes as input the names of the input file and the output file. A malicious attacker wants to override a sensitive file on the server. Now, the server has access to the sensitive file but the client does not. So, the attacker sends an input file to the server and gives the name of the sensitive file as the name of the output file. So, the server performs the required operations on the input file and stores the output in the output file. But the attacker has given the name of the sensitive file as the name of the output file. So, the server overrides the sensitive file which it otherwise will not do. In other words, the attacker here exploits the server to perform some action which the server otherwise will not do. So, the server here acts like a confused deputy who is exploited to perform some malicious action. This type of problem is called a confused deputy problem. Are there any real life examples of the confused deputy problem? There are many. A cross site request forgery attack is a good example of the confused deputy problem. In a cross site request forgery attack, an attacker exploits a user's authentication cookie to submit a malicious request to a server on the user's behalf. Here, the user's web browser acts like a confused deputy. Clickjacking is also an example of the confused deputy problem. In clickjacking, the user acts as a confused deputy and performs sensitive actions on a website controlled by the attacker. I hope this helps. Interested viewers who want to know more about the confused deputy problem can visit the website of the security body. The link is provided in the description. You can also subscribe to us and get notifications on recent videos.